Welcome. I've got a great soup for you today. We're going to make homemade chicken tortilla soup. Now in other video showings, we'll show you things in the Vitamix that you can do and you can make this exact same soup in the Vitamix, but it's just a little bit different. We're going to make it homemade today. So we'll be using potatoes and carrots and garlic and nice pepper, onions, beautiful chicken stock, and then we'll top it all off with some avocado and we'll put some crispy tortilla chips on the stock on the top. All right. See you in a few right, minutes. We're ready to compile our soup and put it all into the pan. I basically have a pan that has olive oil in it and that's been heated and now we're ready to receive the vegetables. And the, you really, it's your choice. You can play around with the size of the pot. If you want a really meaty soup or really hearty soup, I might do a bigger pan. But if you're just trying to, um, you know, gauge on what you have in your refrigerator. You can always play around with this. Sometimes I do do a big pot stock of this, um, but today I'm just going to use this small pan. Make probably enough for four servings, and just make it a little bit hearty. So I've got garlic I just put in, potato. I had a chopped up spicy pepper, carrot, onion, and then celery. So I'm just going to give that a good stir, and then I'll season it. And then we're going to put it on the stove. Of course, I'm making chicken tortilla soup, so we want to use an organic cumin. And that really is to taste. You guys know me by now. I just kind of wing it. And if you like it, you'll use a little more. And if you're not a fan of it, you gotta use some because it's Mexican soup. And then I'm putting in that real sea salt. The name of the brand is Real Sea Salt. It comes in a pink color. And that's where you're going to get more of the minerals in it. I'm not using that nasty white, old, oxidized, bleached salt. And then pepper. And we'll be back together in a minute, and I'll show you how that simmers down, and then we'll add some stock to it. So we'll be back together in just a couple minutes. Oh, I wish you were here in the kitchen with me. This smells so good. Okay, so all I did was saute our vegetables, the potatoes, the carrots, the onions, all that good stuff. I just have that nice and sauteed. It's rendered down a little bit, but it's really not cooked. And today, uh, we're going to be a little quick and easy with it. I have some organic chicken broth here. But in our other shows, you know how to make your own chicken broth, and by and large, most of the time, that's what I'm going to do. But if for any reason you're in a bind and you want to get yourself going on a recipe and it's all you have, it's okay to use it once in a while. With nine times out of ten, you can use your homemade broth so much better. But today we're going to make it easy because we want to show you, we want to inspire you, that sometimes it doesn't have to be all perfectly lined up. But this is going to be a million times better, a million times better than you know, eating a can of soup because we have all these fresh ingredients in here. So I'm basically just going to fill this up and then let it just simmer down for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back with you to put the toppings on. See how the soup's doing. Oh, goodness, that smell good. So flavorful. All right, so we've let our vegetables saute and then simmer. It doesn't take but maybe 10 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is just plate this up and then we'll go over the toppings. Now what you can do, instead of um, doing the chicken directly into your bowl, you can just add your chicken breast. What I have here is I have one chicken breast, organic chicken breast. I just have that cut up and I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the soup. The reason I don't always put it in the soup is not everybody in our family eats meat, so you can just add that after. For anybody that doesn't eat meat, they can just have it just plain. And it's a nice uh, idea to just Give it a little bit more zest at the end. So we'll just put a little bit of chicken in so you can see how that's all going to look together. Of course, we want to give it some nice cilantro. We've got to get those fresh herbs and everything we can. And then the nice thing to do to finish this off is to just add some chopped avocado to it. And we'll give you a good screenshot at the end so you can see that. And of course, don't forget, if you want to add just a little bit of crunch, you could add some crunchy tortilla chips. So I'll just put those on and then we'll show you a screenshot and then we'll see you next time. You take care.